Hello, I'm the eternal newbie. The extra L is for large. No, that's not really enough. The extra L is for larger. Better, but not quite what I'm thinking of. I got it. The extra L is for largest. As in, we've just seen the largest dragon, I think, in the world. Before I begin, if you enjoy this story, check out my others. I'd greatly appreciate subscribes. Likes and comments, as always, are welcome. This story takes place during my Shadow of the Dragon Lord game. If you've not played it, it's a good system. I just have one little complaint. Yeah, no, no. It's that I don't know what I'm doing. You see, I've learned a lot about D&D and am pretty good at that. But in Shadow, I just have no idea. I mean, I understand the rules. They are pretty straightforward. But character building is beyond me. I don't know why. One guy on our team is pretty much a god. He one shot one of the toughest creatures in the game doing about 100 points of damage. My highest level spell does like 4d6 damage. He does 68 plus 15 or something crazy like that twice around. This guy is also always rolling with like 6 boons. In Shadow of the Demon Lord, instead of having inspiration, they have boons where you basically roll a d6 and add that to your total. If you have 6 d6, you roll 6 of them and keep the highest one. We're all at the same level, and most of the rest of the party is comparable to me, but Hercules can pretty much kill anything. The campaign has taken a hard left since the parade incident. We'd gone on vacation, found a spaceship full of alien-type facehuggers and xenomorphs, we made it out of there, but ended up being stranded on an island. This is the most crowded, deserted island in history. Okay, second most. We rescued a demigoddess who'd been trapped for thousands of years, and she takes us to her home, a cave on the island. In the cave, we find her sisters, a bunch of water nymphs. We also find a sleeping dragon who the nymphs are very interested in keeping asleep. They're afraid if it wakes up, it's going to break the whole place up. The only problem is there are these crab monsters threatening the nymphs. They want us to take care of the crabs while they keep singing lullabies to the dragon. So off we go, having no idea how we're going to take care of these crabs. They are big, they are mean, and they are plentiful. There are scores of them. On the way there, we realize we have no clue what to do. Of course, Hercules will be fine, but compared to him, the rest of us are scrubs. We happen to pass a giant eye. Yeah, this is a weird place. Giant eyes just sticking out of the wall like some crazy art project. The eye is very alive. It's closed and looks to be dreaming. Quiz time! You're on a strange island full of demigods and great evil when you find a dozing eye the size of a city bus. What do you do? A. Sneak by quietly and carefully so as not to wake it up. B. Turn around and go back the way you came? Or C. Go right up to it and start shouting at it. Guess which one we chose. One of our party members starts to talk to it and actually convinces it to help us clear out the crab. The DM makes sure to convey just how big the eye is, but our party will not be deterred. The behemoth wakes up and as it rises, destroying the very cave we were trying to protect, we get our first good look at it. Yeah, we're boned. Luckily, we survived the cave-in. Unluckily, the demigoddess we just saved, who is still weak from her imprisonment, is stuck to the giant's nose. We need her to get off the island. Time to leap into action. And yes, the original dragon, you know, the one the nymphs were so worried about, that was actually this dragon's tongue. Did I mention we're boned? Quiz time! You're stuck on an island and your best chance of getting off the island is being carried away by a Godzilla-sized dragon. What do you do? A. Find a new way off the island. B. Go build a boat. C. Decide this island really isn't that bad a place to live after all. Or D. Climb that scary death monster and save her. We chose D. Yeah, 
Did I mention we're not the smartest group in the world? That's my other group. One of us has a flying broom and can whisk the others up to the dragon right away. The only problem is the thing is rank. Like it smells like it's been dead for a while. Well, that's not exactly the only problem. I mean, we are climbing a mega dragon to save a demigoddess to get off an island we got stuck on after a spaceship crash. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. The guy with the broom, I'll call him Witch, gets us to the dragon's head. Except for Hercules, he just climbs it, of course. The dragon is taking off, so every time we move, we risk falling off. We've accomplished our plan of climbing the dragon, but neglected to plan what to do after that. Witch and another party member manage to get to the demigoddess, but we're all stuck on the dragon because Witch can't get us down while he's helping the goddess. That's when a giant worm appears. We do. The cave is collapsing. No cave. What? This worm is even bigger than the dragon, and they are heading towards each other for what will be the biggest of heavyweight fights. In this corner, weighing in at 767 tons, the dragon with the silver dragon tongue, Colossus. And in the red corner, coming to 1,121 tons, the worm that'll make you squirm, Clarence. We've got to get out of here, but there is no time. That's when I leap into action. I make my way to the dragon's ear hole and first try to charm it. I'm kind of like this world's version of a bard, so I sing my song of charming and fail miserably. Yeah, we're screwed. Maybe it was my choice of instruments? I've got one more chance, so I try to bluff this thing. I know my lies are going to have to be really convincing after my failed charm attempt. I tell him if he lets us down, we'll help him with the worm. I explain that we are basically the most powerful people around. I mean, we must be because otherwise we'd have to be complete idiots to climb him. The dragon sees the logic in this and lets us off. Luckily, he is not that smart. Though his stench does put us to sleep as he leaves, except for Hercules, of course. We wake up a minute later to find the worm pummeling the dragon. We decide to get out of there while the getting is good. That was how we met and conquered the world's largest dragon. Well, we did survive and it didn't. We eventually got off the island and never saw the worm again. So yeah, I'd say we conquered it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, how's about a subscribe? Let me know about the biggest creature you've come up against in the comments. And as always, play your character. Don't let your character play you.